untangle the bra straps. Here we go. I got this soda. Welcome back to my channel. To those of you that don't know me, my name is Nikki Philippi, like filling a pie. You're now on my channel. Click right here to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. That would make me mucho happy. So today I'm going to be doing a haul because I went shopping today. <sighs> While I don't really need an excuse to go shopping because I can just make excuses all day long, I am actually doing a few trips in the next couple of months. I'm going to DC, Washington DC, I'm going to New York City, and it looks like I might be going to Korea. So I kind of have a crazy next couple of months and I just thought it'd be fun to go pick up a couple of things. And here I am digging myself into the hole of excuses for my shopping problem. Before I hop right in, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, then you saw me hyping up all day yesterday today's video. Now, this is obviously not the video I was hyping up. You can tell by the pictures I'm showing right now. I had a little bit of a problem with that video, so that video is actually going to be going up next week. I just think it's so cute, and I'm just... I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm very excited. So I'm going to hop right in. I'm gonna do this pretty fast-ish, and I'm actually gonna do a small little giveaway in the video too. I'll explain why and what I'm giving away. I'm trying to figure out where to set my phone. Um, when I get there, but I went to four different stores, and they're like different stores. I went to Victoria's Secret, Free People, Sunglass Hut, and Sally's Beauty Supply. So I'm gonna start with Victoria's Secret because that's the bag I had my hand on. Plus, this is where I'm doing the giveaway too. So um, here's my Victoria's Secret bag. Ooh, I'm sure you've never seen that before. And the first thing that I got from Victoria's Secret, okay, these may seem kind of boring, but I'm very excited about this. And you guys are gonna make fun of me hardcore in the comments. I am a avid dress wearer. I have loved dresses for the longest time because I just like them. They're girly, they're easy. You put one thing on and you're ready for the day. But over the last couple years, my dresses haven't been getting as much wear because every time I put them on, I'm like, oh, but I have a really busy day today where I'm gonna be jumping up and jumping down or it's really windy out and I'm just gonna be exposing my butt to the world. Don't ask me why the light bulb never went off to wear shorts underneath my dress. So about a month or two ago, I bought some really tight shorts from Lorna Jane and they're super cute, but um, they're like striped and I kind of just wanted to get some plain black shorts because since I got those shorts and like I'm wearing all of these dresses that I hadn't been wearing in a while because I can wear any of them. It's like, oh, it doesn't matter. I can do cartwheels and I'm not gonna expose myself. So I bought two pairs of shorts. I looked at Lorna Jane and Lululemon and I couldn't find the ones I want, but I got some at Victoria's Secret. So I got just some plain black shorts so I can continue to wear all of my dresses. It's gonna still be dress season, like even without tights or anything, for probably another couple months here. It's pretty hot for a pretty long time in California. So pretty excited about those. And then, this is where the giveaway comes into play. So. Recently, I've smelled a couple of people wearing Love Spell. Throwback Thursday, except it's not, it's Saturday. Um, I used to wear Love Spell in high school. I was obsessed and my mom wore it all the time. It just is really like happy memories to me. Love Spell and like vanilla were like scents that I loved. I've had a few scents that I've worn a lot, but I used to wear Love Spell a lot. Oh, and I've been smelling on people lately and I'm like, dude, I want to start wearing Love Spell again. I just really like the scent. So I went to buy Love Spell, but then when I looked at the sign, I forgot I haven't bought Victoria's Secret scents like in a little while. I was like, wait a minute. So I can get one of these for $18, which seems hella overpriced, but whatever. Or I can get three for 30. Didn't have to think about it that much. So I went through and I wasn't sure which ones to get, but I ended up getting Love Spell. I got vanilla lace because I love mixing vanilla with like all scents that I wear. And then I got for you guys a Love Spell body splash. So if you are obsessed with Love Spell or you wanna try Love Spell, um, I went and bought you guys one because I just thought, great, one of us can be scent twinsies and it's gonna be a really good time. So I'm gonna have all of the rules down in the info box if you just feel like entering to win this little spray of Love Spell. It smells, oh, it literally smells so good. It's like this tropical, like almost borderline citrusy, but not, I just, it's, it smells so good. It smells so good. So pretty excited about that. Then because I spent money 
They gave me a bag, I'm gonna open up this. I actually thought they forgot to give it to me when I got home because I went shopping with Maddie, who, if you don't know Maddie, Maddie is a cast member on JLT slash also living at my house right now. And so we went to the mall together and she got some workout pants and something else and she got this big duffel bag. And I was like, Maddie, I didn't get the duffel bag. And she's like, did you check your bag? <laughs> I was like, I spoke too soon, it's right here. So I got a free duffel bag as well, which that'll be super convenient. I feel like just for short little trips or like sometimes um, I have been doing things where like I'll go on set for a shoot. Sometimes I need multiple outfits and makeup and it just kind of depends. So that's kind of cool. Um, and that's it from Victoria's Secret. So I'll move on to Sally's because the Sally's bag is actually in the Victoria's Secret bag. And from Sally's, I got a couple of things. The first one, very random. I'm spitting everywhere. You guys know I love my studs. I bought another pair of studs. These are like super sparkly Destiny Australian Crystal studs. I just really like sparkly studs, guys. So I got these. I think these were like 10 bucks, maybe like $6, somewhere in there. And then most of my bill is about at Sally's, at Spally's, was spent on this. I got the OPI mock gel kit. And I'm actually wearing the color right now. Can you see? I feel like always weird when I show my fingers because my pinky is so crooked. Do any of you have that? I really like this color. And it basically comes with three pieces. So it's not real gel. You can remove it with normal nail polish remover. And I don't think it has to cure under light because I didn't, but then again, it took a really long time to dry. So maybe you do. But step one, infinite shine. Step two is the color. Oh, that's also called infinite shine. Oh, so you just go and order the steps. And then step three is the, the gloss, the top coat. So I got these three. This was pretty expensive, surprisingly, but I'm pretty excited. I'm probably gonna redo them again pretty soon because I wanna do a better job, or I might even take them to get a manicure, because why not? And I, then I could see like how it really lasts. Now we're gonna move on to Sunglass Hut. So I stood in Sunglass Hut and debated uh, what pair to get for like 20 minutes. Let me just preface this by saying, not only do I have a sunglass obsession, you know this if you've been following me for a while. I mean, literally, I think more than any other item of like clothing, makeup, anything, sunglasses are like my top, top favorite thing. I love them so much. I think it's just because I wear sunglasses like all the time. Not only do I live in sunny Southern California, but I have very sensitive eyes. And so I just, I don't know, I love sunglasses. I bought a pair of black Ray-Bans about a month ago. No, it's a lie, like two months ago. First time I've ever lost an expensive pair of glasses. I'm like really good with not losing my sunglasses. I don't necessarily keep them gentle, great condition, but I don't lose them. And it was the first pair I lost. So I was debating whether I should get another black pair, but I decided not to because I bought a pair of like cheap black aviators and I decided to go for a pair of sunglasses I have been looking for for a long time. Oh, let me also say, not only do I have a sunglass addiction, I specifically have a Ray-Ban sunglass addiction. I really, really love Ray-Bans. But the thing about Ray-Bans is they come in like different sizes and sometimes the specific sizes are harder to find. So I had wanted these for a while. I must have tried on this pair, a pair like this, in probably 10 to 15 different Ray-Ban stores. I mean, I've tried so many times and I've never found a pair that fit me right. I don't know what size this is. I don't know why it was right today, but I bought them and I'm a very happy camper about them. Ooh, yeah, cute, huh? And I posted a picture on Twitter and I was like, all right, I got these. And I got multiple comments from people like, hey, I love your sunglasses. I was like, all right, good call, good call. So yeah, I'm pretty um, excited about these. I feel like these are just, just cute in general, but I like the idea of wearing like, I don't know, tattered jeans and like a baggier t-shirt. And I don't know, I, I just, I think they're super cool and they're not too tiny for my face. So. Another pair of Ray-Bans to add to my Ray-Ban collection. I really love Ray-Bans. Do you guys have like a specific obsession with like a certain line of sunglasses? I also really like Key, but like honestly it's not, I, I don't have this experience with any other line of sunglasses where I literally just want so many pairs from them. There's honestly still multiple pairs of Ray-Bans that I'm like lusting after. It's, it's just like, I love them, it's a problem. So, all right guys. This is pretty exciting. Moving on to Free People. I have recently become an even bigger Free People fan, and we have Free People now at our mall, and so I bought a couple pieces. I'm pretty excited about these pieces, especially just for all the places that I'm going to. I think that these are gonna be 
really beautiful things to wear at those like events and things that I'm going to. So first thing I got is this dress. I love this fuchsia color and I really like the beading but I do realize I'm fully gonna have to get this dry cleaned and I'm like not enough of an adult to be like chill with that. So I mean I am chill with it, I bought it but like I'm still kind of like dry cleaned. So this fuchsia color, ah! How pretty is that? Pretty excited, it's like a shift dress, I think you call it, where like it just goes straight down on the sides, which is funny, because one of the, the dresses that I last bought from Free People was also that straight cut. It was a turtleneck dress that I showed on Twitter and Instagram that a lot of you guys liked. Got that at Free People. So that is very exciting. Then, oh that's funny, I just got three like all encompassing, like I got a romper, two dress and two dresses. So the second dress I got, this one's a lot more casual, but I'm excited because I can wear this in the hot weather. It goes from short to long in the back. I like the coloring colors. I feel like a lot of these um warmer colors work like really work on me especially now with the dark hair and it really brings out my eyes I feel like so I feel like this is great because I'll be able to wear it while it's still hot but later if I want to put tights on it and, and boots and like a black leather jacket I think that'll be super cute sorry I'm trying not to burst and then the last piece that I got from free people or in general of this haul is a piece that I, every time I've gone into Free People for the last couple of months, which is kind of funny because it's probably gonna go on sale, but like I still just, I really wanted it. I was like, I keep saying it, I want it, and they had my size, is this white, it's like a lace, but it's like a floral lace cutout romper. So you can't see this, you're obviously gonna have to see it like when I'm wearing it and posing in it, but there's that. And I think that, once again, just for all of the random events that I'm going to, I think that'll be a really pretty, event romper. I'm very excited about that. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this haul. Be sure, like I said, to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Also, check out my vlog channel. I'm about to hit 200,000 subscribers over there and I've really been uploading regularly. So if you wanna come support that channel, you can just click down in the info box and come back next Saturday for the video that I was supposed to upload today. I'm so excited to show you guys. Uh, enter the giveaway if you want for Love Spell. That's that peeps. P.S. I might be moving again. That's a random crazy end note. There you go. All right, on that note, bye guys. See you soon.